Krypton Core presents Superconductors by Tasneem, Sahar, Aziza, and Shabano. In our modern world, machines play a crucial role in our everyday life. They replace simple labor like zipping up your pants to more complex work such as performing surgeries. However, one of the most simple rules of any study is that you can't get something for nothing. With machines, the downside of their beneficial labor is the waste of energy in the form of heat due to electrical resistance. Heat is the reason why we can achieve constant motion. Imagine if you could find a way to remove electrical resistance, thereby eliminating energy loss. We know that heat increases resistance, and cranking down the thermostat ought to decrease it, right? Well, it does, within limits. In normal conductors, resistance falls as the temperature drops, but never completely disappears. Superconductors work a bit differently. As a superconductor cools, it follows a similar curve of gradually dropping resistance until it reaches its particular critical temperature. Then, abruptly, all resistance disappears. It's as if resistance were slowly losing a tug of war with conductance. And then, frustrated, let's go of the rope. We'll discuss this in more detail soon. In 1908, a Dutch physicist, Cameron Owens, cooled mercury down to negative 450 degrees Fahrenheit and discovered that it could conduct electricity without energy loss. This astonishing discovery has puzzled the greatest minds of the century ever since. Scientists continue to discover more and more superconductors, but the new materials such as pure metals or alloys didn't seem to follow a pattern. Even more oddly, it turned out that normally good conductors, like copper, were worthless as superconductors. Scientists were in the dark for the next 50 years, unable to explain these abnormal behaviors until the BCS theory which unraveled the mystery of superconductivity. Before we go on, let's define a superconductor. A superconductor is an element, alloy, or compound that conducts electricity without resistance when cooled below a certain temperature. If you send current through a superconducting wire, it loses no energy to resistance. If you bend the wire into a loop, it will hold its charge indefinitely. If you levitate it above a magnet, ants will take over the world before it falls. Superconductivity is the closest phenomenon to perpetual motion that we have achieved. Since the non-existent resistance does not impede the motion of the electrons, once set in motion, electrical current will flow infinitely. In order to understand how superconductors work, it is important to know how normal conductors operate. A conductor consists of a lattice of atoms. For electricity to flow, electrons must move through this lattice with as little interference as possible. When an electric current passes through conductors such as copper, the electrons make their way across the copper lattice hitting the surrounding atoms and getting repelled by neighboring electrons. The higher the temperature, the more the lattice vibrates, and the more likely the electrons are to run into interference. The interferences result in a loss of energy in the form of heat. This undesirable loss of energy is known as resistance. Think of free electrons in a typical conductor as students hanging out in the school atrium. An applied current is like the bell announcing the beginning of class. In an instant, individual motion transforms into a single, united movement towards the classrooms, or would were it not for a few troublemakers who linger and stumble at the staircase and continue gossiping with their friends. Because of the resistance they cause, some students are late to class and miss the first part of the lesson. Thus, the current loses energy. Such is life at Conductor High School. Inside a superconductor, the behavior of electrons is vastly different. Let's replace those students with an undercover flash mob. At the bell, they partner up and perform a synchronized choreographed dance across the atrium. No one is late to class, and they're all less tired when they get there. That's the wonder of Superconductor High School. The ability of electrons to pass free superconducting material unobstructed was discovered in a more complicated structure related to quantum mechanics, which three American physicists John Bodine, Leon Cooper, and John Schreifer explored in the theory of superconductivity known as the BCS theory. Created using Powtoon.